Welcome back to another episode of the RTS Podcast. I am your host, Zion Smith. For the past few days, I've been doing some thinking. One of my realizations was how I handle the non jeopardy of friendships. For example, if I've been known a friend for years, that friend does something wrong to me, it may not be a big deal because I've been knowing that person for so long, we develop trust, we develop a special bond. So if that person does something wrong to me, that may be small. It wouldn't be a big deal at all because I trust that person enough that he or she isn't going to do it again because we have the continuity, because we have that understanding of each other. It may be a person I've been known for about a year. However, I develop a special bond, a special chemistry, and we quick like that. And I even trust this person enough that we understand each other and we understand our values, we understand what trigger us, we understand what not to do that could hurt us. Sometimes that understanding, I feel like it can lead me to becoming blind of a person's actions because of me just simply being nice, you know? For as long as I've been growing up, I've been a person of kindness, respect, and love. I believe respect is earned, not given. You have to earn people's respect through your actions. After all, actions speak not than words. Love, we all know it's a full letter word. It's complicated. And I believe love has many definitions. Kindness is simple. Treat others how you want to be treated. Therefore, I'm a person of connection. I'm a person of continuity and non jeopardy I believe as time goes on, when you get to know the person, and you learn about what triggers them, you learn about their story. Over time, you start to gravitate towards this person and you only see the goodness. And sometimes you can become blind of the not so good things about this person. I believe that's a perspective that I'm currently realizing as we speak.
you know. There's a song. that I relate to. I believe it's on a personal level. It's called Before You Walk Out My Life. It's by Monica. And I think the lyrics simply means I'm sorry for doing you wrong before you walk out my life, before you make this decision, please understand, I will do right next time. I believe that's what the lyrics simply means. However, when I listen to the song, I feel like it's more personal. You know, I feel like it's more deeper than what the lyrics is actually portraying in my life. I think the main reason why the song Before You Walk Out My Life is so relatable to me is because it happened to me at real life. Except it was fatal. Few people walked out my life. No mentions. A long story short, I try to help, I try to apologize. Try to explain myself. It went left. Therefore, they walked out my life. I try to do what I thought was right. It didn't work out. However, as I look at my life six months ago, I realized I thought they was going to be in my life forever. I thought they was one of the fingers of my handful of friends. It turns out, it's not true. A wise person once said, friends come and go, but banners hang forever. I created the Asian Light Market banner for ODU. The event, It's on October 31st. And the banner will be hanged on campus from October 16th, which was four days ago of this recording right now, October 20th, to the day that the event will take place. Basically what I'm saying is, I'm doing bigger and better things. I'm still motivated. I'm still out here doing the best I can. I'm still being Zion Smith. And I'm still on a road to success, regardless of people walking out my life, 
I continue to thrive. My sunlight, it will never down. It will only continue to become brighter. So if they want to walk out my life, it's their loss because I'm winning. I got banners. Hang up on campus because of my contributions, because of my creativity. They want to see me fail. If they want to ruin my life, and turn off my light, when I'm shining, if they want to change me directly and indirectly, the jokes is on them. Because I don't have a problem. And if I did, I would have been fisted. They have a problem. If they want to come to you with validation and reflect their insecurities on you, it's not your problem. It's their problem. If they want to walk out my life, that was never my friend to begin with. They was only here for a season. Right now, it's the fall. They are the leaves falling out the tree. Never to return. Because next season will be the winter and there won't be no leaves during the winter. And the spring, oh, they're going to change colors. Pretend to be somebody they not. Portray a lifestyle that you don't value, that you don't appreciate. just to get you to fit in with them, to fit in with their choices. Don't buy into that. And yeah, comma is a B word. God will humble them. Don't worry about them. It's already finished. Don't worry about what they got going on. Forget them. If they want to walk out your life because you try to help them or because you try to explain yourself and constantly apologize over and over again. Let it happen. It was not meant to be in your life from the get go. You know, I just realized this. I realized if you are the Nesoda of the conversation. And people knows that you are nice. People knows that you are kind. You are tender hearted. You are respectful. Believe it or not, 
some people will use that to their advantage in a conversation meaning they will tell you all kinds of things about themselves some things that's meant to be kept private but they, they will tell you because they trust you enough to keep that secret and they know subconsciously that you will listen to them because you know when you listen you don't interrupt you don't cut them off you just let them talk before they stop talking and then you can talk and then sometimes when it's all said and done they realize they shouldn't have tell you their personal business yet you choose to tell me your personal business I didn't force you so beware of that if a person wants to walk away from you forever walk out your life because of the goodness of your heart because of I mean, sometimes you can't be the hero all the time, but you trying to make things right. And they don't understand that because of their insecurity. It's because of what they have to fix. As far as literally telling you they need validation, Don't buy into that. Continue to be great. Continue to be legendary. And you will be okay. I'm Zion Smith, and this is the RTS Podcast. Always and forever.